Hello everyone, I am Shaoyang Rong from University of Illinois at Chicago. Me and Professor Lina He are working in the Power Energy Innovation Lab. Our research interest mainly lies in the fields of electrical power systems, power electronics, and high voltage engineering. We focus on modeling, protection, and resilience of power electronic based power systems, uh, renewable energy integration, wide area protection and cyber security, HVDC control and operation, and machine learning application in power systems. Today, I am going to present a paper studying on the impact of photovoltaic generation integration on protection of distribution systems. Renewable energy generation has increased significantly these years because of the vast energy demand and climate impacts. International Renewable Energy Agency has reported that the share of the re renewable energy in the world power sector would increase from 25% in 2015 to 85% in 2050. We can see from the diagram that the penetration of PV generation grows rapidly. The global in installation capacity of PV will up to 17 1021 gigawatt by 2021 uh, gigawatt by 2030. Most of these PV generation are integrated in the distribution systems through inverters to form a grid connected PV system. Although the PV generation can effectively alleviate overloads and share the power supply, however, it can cause some undesired issues, especially protection problems. In the diagram, we can see that the traditional radio distribution systems are protected by circuit breakers controlled with overcurrent relays. When an overcurrent measured by the relay exceeds the current setting, it will trigger the circuit breaker to open and isolate the fault. It is noted that these settings are designed based on the fault current of synchronous generators. These currents are usually very high due to the inertia of the synchronous generator and can be easily detected by the overcurrent relay. However, the PV current is limited by the current limiter in the inverter control which is uh, used to protect the semiconductor switches of the inverter. This lower fault current on the feeder usually cannot be detected by the overcurrent relay and thus re re results in protection failure. This page shows the significance and the main achievements of this paper. The fault current fed by a PV system is too low to trigger the circuit breaker, leading to a protection failure, which is that the overcurrent relay should trip but does not. The long-lasting fault results in severe damages to power system devices and huge economical losses. Therefore, it is significant to analyze the impact of PV systems on protection of distribution systems to guide system operators to redesign the protection of distribution systems. To analyze this issue, this paper presents a quantitative analysis of fault characteristics of a PV system and a synchronous generator. Uh, a distribution system benchmark integrated with a synchronous generator is designed to study the normal operation of the overcurrent relay during the fault. We build a distribution system with a PV system of identical power flows for fault study. Comparing their fault behaviors, this paper identifies the low fault current issue of PV and provides quantitative analysis. The protection issue caused by the PV generation mostly relies on its control system. As can be seen from the diagram, the PV system is mainly composed of a PV array, a DC-DC boot converter, a large DC link, a DC-AC inverter, and a filter. The control system has three main functions. 
The first one is the MPPT, which is realized by the maximum PowerPoint tracking algorithm. Uh, this function ensures the maximum power output of PV array under varying weather condition. The second is the current slash voltage control, which is used to control the inverter to transform DC to a into AC power. The third one is the grid synchronization. Uh, this function ensures the output uh, voltage and current phasor are matched with the main grid. And this function is achieved by a phase locked loop control. The control strategy in the inverter is a double loop control consisting of a outer voltage loop control, an inner current loop control, and a feed forward control. In the outer voltage loop control, the voltage references are generated from the MPPT algorithm, which is used to maintain the DC link voltage at the maximum power point. In the diagram, we can see that in the uh, inner loop control, the active power and reactive power are decoupled so that they can be controlled by the ID and IQ components of the output current in the DQ axis. Here, the IQ is zero, meaning that this PV system is operating at a unit power factor and, uh, and it only provides active power to the main grid. The feed forward control takes VD and VQ as control objects, which can uh, reduce the impact of the grid side voltage disturbance on the current control and therefore it can improve the dynamic speed of the inverter. To formulate the fault scenario, we designed we designed a distribution benchmark with a distribution synchronous generator. Uh, as shown in the first diagram, this system is a three bus system. Uh, the substation is connected to the main grid. Uh, each feeder segment is protected by a circuit breaker controlled by an overcurrent relay. A distributed synchronous generator is connected v uh, through bus 3. This synchronous generator is a diesel generator. To study the impact of the PV generation to this protection system, the synchronous generator is replaced with a PV system. This new system shares the identical power flow with the benchmark system. Uh, in the following step, in the following step, we conduct a case study based on these two systems to analyze the fault scenario and the impact of the PV integration numerically. The voltage level of feeder one is 10.48 kV. A load capacity is 90 kW in total. The synchronous generator generates uh, 46 kW active power to the system and so is a PV in a second system. Here, the output of the PV is assumed constant with steady uh, weather condition during the fault in a short time. A three-phase fault is set to occur at point five at, uh, at the point F on feeder one at the zero point second. The foot current will uh, be fed by both of the main grid and the distributed generation from the synchronous generator or the PV system. The simulation results show that the comparison of the foot current and voltage at the terminal of the synchronous generator and PV system by recording the foot current flowing through circuit breaker 2 and the voltage at bus 3. From the first diagram, we can see that the generator current increases to 5 per unit after 0.5 second and drops to 0. This means that the high uh, current 
triggered the relay to operate and the circuit break it too is open. However, the PV current fluctuates after the fault occurs and then it is limited and maintains at 2 per unit since the circuit break tool is not open. In the second diagram, the generator voltage drops after 0.5 seconds immediately, fluctuates and reaches 0 since the circuit breaker tool is open. PV voltage drops after 0.5 second and maintains at about 0.05 per unit due to a low impedance of the feeder since circuit breaker 2 is not open in this case. So this result show that the low fault current fed by the PV system cannot be detected by the overcurrent relay and results in a long lasting fault current. This fault current can lead to tremendous damage to the costly e electrical equipment in the power systems. We have discussed several solutions to address this protection issue. The most straightforward one is to improve the current level of the semiconductor switch. But the semiconductor switch that can endure high currents are very costly. The second solution is to uh, lower, the over, lower the current setting of the overcurrent relays to detect the low fault current fed by the PV system. However, in this way, the overcurrent relay cannot discriminate the fault current from the transition current and over overload current with the same low magnitude. This will cause unwanted tripping of the circuit breakers. And some researchers have proposed a voltage current protection scheme, which combines the voltage drop to detect the fault. However, it would require a large amount of the voltage measurement sensors in the distribution systems, which will be very costly. In addition, this method cannot be applied to the PV sources that can regulate voltage, which is in most cases in the future. The machine learning method provides a very good solution. After learning the fault current characteristics, Machine learning algorithm can be in implemented in the digital relays to detect the low fault current of the PV system intelligently. In conclusion, this paper presents a quantitative analysis of fault characteristics of a PV system and a synchronous generator, and it also identifies the impact of the PV integration on distribution protection system. The results show that the PV current, the PV fault current is limited and causes more function of protective relay, which is that the relay should trip but, but did not. After this work, we proposed an intelligent overcurrent detect, over detection algorithm applying machine learning method for relays to detect for digital relays to detect the PV fault current fast and effectively. The outcomes are included in the paper that is already accepted by the 2020 uh, IEEE Energy Conversion Congress and Exposition. Um, based on this work, we also filed a patent that is titled as the Intelligent Adaptive Relay for Protection Coordination of Hybrid ACDC Microgrids.